Wes Sims, one of the tallest trees in a forest of fighters. He has a tall order tonight in the powerhouse, Bobby Lashley. Please welcome to the cage, the colorful MMA veteran, Wes Sims. All right, we're just getting started here at the Bank Atlantic Center, and you know what? Wes Sims took this fight on one week's notice. There really seems to be a perception when it comes to Bobby Lashley's notoriety in pro wrestling that somehow that has to translate to him already being the biggest star in MMA. That's not the case. This guy's just getting started, and yet there is already a lot of fear out there. Wes Sims never shows any fear. He finally put his name on the dotted line, and he is ready to rumble with Lashley tonight. Marl, win or lose, Wes Sims is hard to beat when it comes to unabashed off-color entertainment. But although he can talk the talk, he has stumbled when he tried to walk the walk in the bigger leagues. But as, but as undisciplined as Sims is, he's still a man who is six foot eight inches tall and has battled three UFC champions in Dan Severn, Tim Sylvia, and Frank Mir. And more importantly, he always comes to fight. He's a game competitor, and that you cannot take from Wes Sims. He's also, like you said, six foot eight. If he lands anything and generates any energy behind any punch, it's going to have tremendous power. He really wins this match tonight by maintaining the range and keeping the stronger Lashley on the outside. He does that with his jab. He's got to pop that jab, up jab, low jab, high jab. He's got to squat himself down and meet at the level of Lashley and not let Bobby go underneath him. You know, the founder of American Top Team, Ricardo Laborio, has deemed Bobby Lashley a special project, and Lashley's very eager to prove he's the next big thing from ATT. When I get in the cage and it's fight time, it's kind of that, that calm before the storm. And when they ring that bell, that's when all the energy just kind of explodes. Whatever uh, martial art you come from, you have to kind of humble yourself a little bit because there's different aspects of the game that you have to pick up and understand and learn. Wrestling and jiu-jitsu, they're kind of opposing styles. So you got to kind of uh, rethink things and learn a different style and method. I've been training a lot of my striking. I've been training a lot of my ground game. I feel better than I felt in any one of my fights right now. So to be able to get on Showtime, represent Strike Force, man, it's going to be a great one. When I get in there this time, they're going to see a fast fight and a finish, a hard finish. And now, the professional wrestling star and dynamic MMA heavyweight, Bobby Lashley. A nice welcome for Bobby Lashley to his Strike Force debut. You know, Stephen, this guy has that it factor. Not only is he carved out of granite, you know, people could say he has the body of an Adonis. No, no, he is the Adonis. He can talk, he can walk the walk, and I think with the work that he's putting in an American Top Team, this guy's really going to shake up the heavyweight division before too long. But he wants to take baby steps, and why not? He's only had four professional fights. Well, baby steps or not, he probably already won the bodybuilding contest here tonight between the two but what we'll see tonight is an unscripted Bobby Lashley who is much calmer and some say more charismatic than he is in pro wrestling and as you said before Morrow he directly attributes that to the teachings of Ricardo Laborio and the entire crew over at American Top Team. I like where he's taking his training I like how he's trying to evolve and complete his style he says he's looser now he's more comfortable he feels better with his hands and he's more confident in using his striking to set up his wrestling he still wins by wrestling in my opinion the double leg takedown is his key to winning this match he's got to go back to his roots he's got to get this match to the ground he's got to ground and pound the big man he doesn't want to stand up and risk getting struck on of course that is the best way to nullify the height and reach advantage that west sims will bring into this contest as we now check the tail of the tape for this heavyweight encounter well, all I can say is six foot eight inches. It doesn't come bigger than that. You are at a tremendous level to generate power. Here now is the inimitable Jimmy Lennon Jr. to get things started. 
Good evening to you ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Bank Atlantic Center here in Sunrise, Florida as Strike Force and Showtime present a big night of mixed martial arts brought to you by Rockstar Energy Drink. At this time we present heavy weights in the cage. We're scheduled for three five minute rounds. Introducing to you first on my left. He is fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter standing at six feet eight inches and an MMA veteran with a record of 22 wins, 12 losses, one draw with two no contests. From Lancaster, Ohio, introducing the big and colorful Wes Sims. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner with a decorated background in wrestling. His MMA record stands unblemished at four wins and no losses. From Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of Parker, Colorado, please welcome the U.S. Army veteran, the former national amateur and two-time professional wrestling champion, Bobby Lashley. And our third man in the cage, now to give instructions, Troy Waugh. Gentlemen, center of the ring. Center of the ring. Gentlemen, we all know the rules. I want a good, clean fight. Let's touch gloves, go back to your corner, let's get ready to rock and roll. Ashley has won all four of his professional fights. Only one has gone the distance. Wes Sims, a product of Hammer House, coming off three wins in a row. Judge, are you ready? Judge, are you ready? Judge, are you ready? 